doctor, we need your help. This patient came in with half her hair missing. We need you to fix it right away. But, but we can't just do that. Who is it? It's Hatsune Miku, sir. We need to help her. She has to be on stage soon. And it's her birthday. Very well. Bring her in. Bring her in right now and we'll get the surgery done. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Beginner Electrical Engineer here, and I just want to apologise for the very cheesy intro, but it is actually Miku Hatsune's ninth birthday today, and uh, I thought we'd just celebrate it. So, this isn't something that I normally do, but as some of you might be aware, especially if you follow me on Twitter, I am a big fan of the animus, the animes, and Miku is one of the animes that I really do like. And as you can see from this figure, she is broken, rather unfortunately. As you can see, her pig, one of her pigtails has came off. And today, we're going to do something that is not electrical engineering, or what you could even consider engineering at all, but we are going to try and fix her. Now, I've already tried to fix her once. As you can see, there's a little wooden dowel in there, but that's again broken. But that's because I used hot glue last time, this time we're going to use epoxy resin and today you shall learn how to use epoxy resin and hopefully fix a figure in the same time. Now first thing you're going to need to get is a dremel and a drill bit to fit the end of it. Okay so I've got the dremel and while I plug this in I shall tell you what you need. What you need is first of all a drill bit. I'm going to be using this little one that's about one and a half to two millimeters wide. You're obviously going to need a small container to store your resin in. In this case, I'm just using a little shot glass. And you might also need some sandpaper, but if we need that, we'll get to it later. You will need a cocktail stick, just a little one. We're going to use that as the wooden dowel. And of course, we're going to need a Dremel. I mean, if you have a hand drill, you can use that too. That might be a little easier for you than a Dremel. But today, we're just going to be using a Dremel. There's our cocktail stick. Now, let me just quickly fit, change the bit on this Dremel, because last time I used it, I used a cutting disc. And we're not going to be cutting up Miku today. It's her birthday, so we're trying to fix her, not break her. Now this Dremel I got from Maplin's, it served me alright through the years, well, through the year, I got it last year, but um, it has been a bit iffy, I mean the, um, the bushes that are here and here that connect to the motor, they seem to be a bit iffy, so if you get one be warned that they might not provide a good enough electrical connection and your drill might essentially stop working or not work very well. So now that we've got our drill bit, let's just test that out. Yep, that works. Let's get some more light here. And we're going to start off by drilling a small hole in the broken part. And then we're going to drill a small hole in the side of the head as well. In this case, we're going to use the same, well, drill out the same hole that we did that I did the first repair with, so essentially I'm drilling through the wood. But if yours hasn't been repaired before, then yes, go ahead and just drill a nice little hole. It only has to be five or six mil deep. It really doesn't have to be very deep at all. And let's cut to time lapse to do that. Actually, before we cut to time lapse, I'm going to bring in the magnifier so you can see everything just a little bit closer. Now, I don't know how well this is going to focus, but we're going to give it our best shot. Focus, focus. There we go. So you should be able to see this bit closer detail. And we just take our drill bit and we're just going to slowly drill into the hair. Uh, 
Okay, let's have a look at that hole that we've made. So all the wood is gone, hopefully, and we'll just test it by taking our cocktail stick. And yes, it does in fact fit. It's a bit too wide, but that's fine. We'll just fill that up with epoxy, and then when it sets, it will be nice and hard. So start by grabbing some wire cutters, chopping off the edge where it stops tapering inwards, and it so that we can get a nice flat dowel edge. Ow, that hit me right in the ch shoulder. Now take your part, put the stick in as far as it will go, then grab your sharpie, or another pen, and essentially mark where the stick reaches the body. Try not to put sharpie on the figure itself because it won't come off. So I just made a mark all the way around so I know how far it goes into the hairpiece that we were drilling into. Now we need to take our other half of the figure and we're going to drill into this part here. Okay, so we're going to start by drilling into our, the other half of our figure. And we're just going to be very careful this time because I did make a bit of a mess last time. Okay, let's clean up that hole that we've made. And check how deep it goes with with our little dowel. Okay, so it's not all that deep. That's fine. Now we could drill it out a little bit more, but I don't particularly want to risk making another mess. I will drill it out a teeny tiny bit more, but then I'll call it there. There we go, so we've gone about five or six millimetres into the head of Miku here. Let's just see how deep that actually goes. Yep, around about five or six millimetres I'd say. So take your stick, cut off that extra so that we can test fit the dowel and see just how neatly or not so neatly it fits into our parts. There we go. So as you can see it's actually too big, way too big. So we're just going to take it out and chop off a little bit more from the end. The more you fit your figure, the better the, the snugger the fit is when you get it right. So as you can see, it's almost there, so there's a tiny little gap, hence why there's some movement. So I'm just going to take a little more off of the dowel, only a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of it. There we go. And test fit it again. There we go, I'm happy with that fit. So we're going to take some epoxy, apply it to the dowel and each of the holes and slightly around each of the holes and then we'll let it set. Okay, so for this we're going to need one epoxy resin. This one is from Poundland in the UK. And it's nice and easy, nice and cheap. 
And, well, it works. It, it smells horrible, but it does work. So take, you, you need to open this kind of carefully. So you just, just snap off the ends nice and neatly. Now these aren't very sharp, so it does take a little while. The lid went flying off somewhere. There we go, got it back. And then take out the little separator that stops you from pushing it when you don't want to push it. So now grab your shot glass like we did, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Pour in a little bit of this using the syringe. It should uh, be an even amount, especially if you've stored it right. And mix it. It literally only needs to be tiny. There we go, that's probably way too much that we need. Now once you've started mixing it, you've got 15 minutes to do the job. But for this tiny little bit, we won't need any more than 15 minutes. Oh god, that stinks. Ugh. <coughs> also, don't get it on your fingers like I just did, because it will stick and stink and feel gross the entire time. And I would recommend wa washing it off as soon as you can. Right, so I've mixed that enough. I'll admit I didn't mix it all that great. So take a bit on your little mixer. I got this with the epoxy. Take your wooden dowel. Coat one half by just twisting it around in the epoxy. Get the ends end coated as well. Don't drop the... oh, for God's sake. Eh, come back. Come back! There we go. Saved it. And then put your dowel into the broken part of the figure. There we go. Now, give it a minute. Take some more epoxy and do the other part of the dowel. With this bit, the more you put on, the better, because when it makes that squelch, it'll fill the hole nice and evenly when we apply it to the second part. Look, my hands are gone all sticky now. So before we put the dowel into the hole, we're just going to leave it a minute, get nice and sticky. And we're just going to take our little spatula looking thing and just put a tiny little bit of resin around the hole. Just so that any contact between the two parts around the hole will get stuck together as well. Because last time it was a little flexible because we used hot glue, which isn't the best of solutions. There we go. Now place the two parts together, and we've got plenty of epoxy, and hold it in a position where you can essentially, where it looks nice. I'm going to put the back half of the figure, or the bottom half of the figure back on as well, if I can get the accessories the right way around. There we go, so that looks be okay so far. I'm just going to have to sit here like this for five or ten minutes while it sets since there's no stand for this thing and I'd rather hold it personally. Thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen. Vo more videos shall come out very soon and I mean very soon because I'm going to be recording another one today which is how to re Tin the tip of a soldering iron, which is something that most people just kind of do. Some don't do it very well, which is the entire point on, of this video. Now, if you checked out my live stream last, in the last few days, then good for you. I'm going to be perhaps doing another one if you're all interested. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more of that kind of thing. If you have any questions about this and want to see more... Um, either more anime related content or more 
repair related content then go ahead and leave a message down below about it don't forget to say happy birthday to Miku she is nine today and I shall see you in the next video bye now 12 seconds later yeah, holding this figure is gonna kill me you're right Miku okay yeah good for you I'm sorry I drilled into your head and essentially messed with your brain but Oh, you. Should probably give you a bit of a clean too. You're looking a little dirty. What's the best way to clean you? I don't have any uh, any polish or anything, do I? You're looking all a bit grey and a bit sunburnt. Hmm. Uh. Hope you don't break again. I don't want you to break again. I mean, last time you broke out a bit of a panic attack, didn't I? Do that again and I'll be even more panicky. Okay? So don't break, please. Eventually. Oh, Miku. Where are you? You're gonna focus. You're gonna focus. Hey, you actually focused once, camera. Good for you. So yes, that's the repair. I mean, it's not set yet. And it's not going to focus now, is it? So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the repair. As you can see, it's barely noticeable. If you're looking at the right angle, obviously you can see it. But Miku's looking as good as she used to be. not quite set yet still got a little while to go but I'm sure she'll be saying see you in the next video if she could talk well she can talk <laughs> but she doesn't want to today happy birthday Miku